Okay, so today we will learn on rule of differentiation. So we have product rule, quotient rule, and also chain rule. So we will go deeper one by one. And first, let us look on product rule. So when do we have to use product rule to differentiate? Okay, when we have two uh, different functions or separate functions combined together by multiplication. For example, you have exponent x sine x. So exponent x is your u, sine x is your v. You can also change the place. Uh, or maybe you have x ln x. Okay, it's two different functions. x is polynomial and ln x is logarithmic function. So u, v. Okay, it's multiplication. So you need to apply product rule. You cannot just simply differentiate separately. And then maybe we have um, what else? x cos x. So this one also u and this one is b. So what is the formula for product rule? So it's u v a dv dx meaning you differentiate the v u times v prime plus v times u prime. So d over dx. Okay, you want to write in this form? Will be like this. So a b c let us solve for a here so your y is equals to exponent x sine x so u is equals to exponent x your v is equals to sine x so your u prime is you differentiate exponent x respect to x you will get exponent x and v prime you will get cos x so now we just put in the product rule formula so you will get exponent x cos x plus exponent x sine x that's it you can simplify if you want you can just put the exponent x So that's it for product rule. Okay, so let's take a look at more examples. So now we want to differentiate this function. You see, you have two separate functions. Okay, you have, this is your u, this is your v. So you will use product rule. You will get what your u, what is your u, what is your v. Is x squared minus 2. v is equal to 3x power 4 minus x. u prime is equal to 2x. v prime is equal to 12x power 3 minus 1. So now you will stitch in the formula. Your dy dx is equal to u v prime plus v u prime. So the answer is x squared minus 2 fx over 3 minus 1 plus 2x 3x power 4 minus x okay maybe we want to simplify it so you will get 12x power 5 minus x squared minus 24x power 3 plus 2 plus 6x power 5 minus 2x power 2 so now you will, sim you will simplify this x power 5 with x power 5 so you get 18 x power 5 x power 3 only one here minus 24 x power 3 x power 2 with x power 2 so minus 3 x squared and then plus 2 so that's it that's the answer for this derivative okay you can try to do 
Oh, I will show you this. U is equals to x squared. V is equals to sine for x. So your u prime is equals to 2x. Your v prime is equals to 4 cos for x. Okay. So your dy dx now will be x, 4x squared cos 4x. So you multiply them plus 2x sine 4x. So that's it. Okay, now we move to quotient rule. So we will apply quotient rule when we have type of function like u over v. For example, maybe you have y equals to exponent x over sine x, for example. Or maybe you have y equals to sine x over x minus 2 squared, for example. Or maybe y is equals to uh, x plus or x minus 1 squared over ln x. So it's separate functions and they are combined together by division. So we'll use this quotient rule. So another way of writing it is v u prime minus u v prime. Oh, sorry. So it should be v u prime minus u v prime. Yeah, it's right, right? Divide by v squared. Okay. So you need to memorize this formula for question rule. Okay, let us take a look at the example. Okay, here we write again. This is v u prime minus u v prime over v squared. The formula. Okay, so here the top function will be the u and the bottom one will be v. Okay, so your u is equals to x squared plus 1, your v is equals to x power 3 minus 2x. So your u prime now is 2x, v prime is equals to 3x squared minus 2. So in order for you to Use the uh, quotient rule, the dy dx. Okay, we use this formula. It's equals to v u prime, so meaning this one 2x multiplied by x power 3 minus 2x minus x squared plus 1 times 3x squared minus 2 over v squared, so x power 3 minus 2x squared. Okay, that's it. If you can simplify, you simplify. So in this slide, I will not show it. Okay, now for B is the same thing. This is U, this is V. So U is the one on the numerator. V is the one on the denominator. Okay, I hope it's clear. So U prime is equal to 3x squared. V prime is equal to negative 2 sine 2x. So your dy over dx is equals to 3x squared times cos 2x minus or plus 2x power 3 sine 2x. That's it. That's it in the simplest form. So you can stop there. So now it's chain rule for composite function. So composite function is something like we have a function in another function. For example, we have fgx here. Okay. So we will denote the inside function as u. And the formula for the chain rule is this one. Okay. For example, maybe you have um, y is equal to exponent sine 2x okay in the exponent function we have 
uh, we have sine 2x as the inside function. So here, the u is equals to sine 2x. So you need to find dy over du and du over dx to find chain rule. So here your u is equals to sine 2x. So u du over dx is equals to 2 cos 2x. And your y we, we need to write in terms of u. So it will be exponent u because u is equals to sine 2x. So dy over du is equals to exponent u. So now uh, we use the chain rule. So dy over dx is equals to dy over du times du over dx. So the answer is eu multiplied by 2 cos 2x. So now you cannot leave the answer like this. You need to substitute what is u. So now u is sine 2x. So you put 2 here cos 2x. Okay, that's it. Very simple. So just another alternative for uh, chain rule, which is called outside inside rule. So outside inside rule is uh, we treat it as we differentiate uh, the main function and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. For example, we have now here y equals to exponent sine 2x. So dy over dx is equal to, so if we differentiate exponent, we will get the same thing, right? Sine 2x. Okay, then you multiply by the derivative of this function, which the sine 2x, the inside function, you will get 2 cos 2x, right? So, if you want to write it um, beautifully, it will be sine 2x cos 2x. Yes, exactly the same. So, that is the alternative method so but if you ask uh, to use uh, chain rule so you need to use this okay so let's uh, look at the example more examples so now you see you want to differentiate this function y equals to ln 3x so we have normally we have only ln x ln 2x ln 4x but now we have ln 3x minus 1 so the inside function, so this is called composite function. The inside function is the u. Okay. So again, chain rule is dy dx is equals to dy over du times du over dx. So now your u is this one. So you write u equals to 3x minus 1. So your du over dx is equal to 3. Du, sorry, y in terms of u will be ln u. So dy over du is equal to just 1 over u. So now you will find the dy dx. You use the chain rule. So you will get 1 over u multiply by 3. Well, it's very simple. So the answer is 3 over u or we substitute the u. We get 3 over 3x minus 1. So that's the answer for your dy dx. So how about y? So for y, the inside function is sine 3x. So first let us change in power form because this no way, uh, no formula for us to use to find differentiation of square root. So we need to change it in power. So square root is equals to power 1 over 2. So now your u is equals to sine 3x. Your du over dx is equals to 3 cos 3x. Your u or y in terms of u is equals to u power 1 over 2. So your dy over du is equals to 
Q bring the power down 1 over 2 U 1 over 2 minus 1 which is negative 1 over 2. So now your dy over dx is equals to dy over du 1 over 2 u negative 1 over 2 multiply by du over dx. So now you will simplify it. You um, substitute back sine 3x equals to u. So you get sine 3x power negative 1 over 2 divide by 2 times 3 cos 3x. So you know we will now simplify it. So this one we can change 3 cos 3x over 2 square root sine 3x because the negative when we bring it down will be positive. So that's it. Okay, thank you very much. If you have any problem, just leave it in the comment.